morning you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm up bright and early putting together this what I eat in a day for you guys. Um, I recorded everything, like pretty much everything that I ate and what my kids ate over the past couple of days. Only things that I forgot to show, there were like a couple meals I forgot to show because sometimes I just get so hungry I forget to record it. Um, and that would be like my protein shake which you guys um, I've showed you in a previous what I eat in a day, um, what that looks like. I'll have that link down below. It was from like a long time ago, but shake still looks the same. Um, and then there were like some other miscellaneous things, but without further ado, let's hop on into the video. Okay guys, sharing a little bit of what we eat in a day. And we get ice cream and we eat strawberry and so we never get she thinks she's gonna get ice cream. It's, a, it's like a frozen yogurt bar. Um, but for lunch today, this is a Sunday afternoon, Kaya's having, this is actually like five strawberries cut up, but she had taken bites out of like three or four strawberries in the container, so I just cut them all up. We'll see if she eats them all, but we've got strawberries, and then this is the broccoli cheddar soup from Costco. Um, you can get a two pack for $7.99, and this is a really easy yeah, lunch so. on the weekends. And Kaya loves it. Once mm -hmm. Riker wakes up, I will cut up some strawberries for him and then probably feed him a little bit of the soup as well. No, Maybe even some not. bananas. That's just for you. We gotta share our soup with our brother. So anyways, that is what Kaya's having for lunch today. And then um, okay, for her treat this okay. afternoon, she will have a okay, yogurt bar. These are the um, like ice cream bars that we get for Kaya. They're frozen Greek yogurt. Um, they're by Yasso, I believe. Oh my gosh, we just got this yesterday and Kaya annihilated like five bars. Um, let's see, I think these are like 100 calories per bar. And um, 100 calories per bar and there are 13 grams of sugar per bar, which is a little bit better than like normal ice cream bars. Um, we find these at Costco. All right, so another shot of lunch. Hi, we're having um, soup. I'm just sitting on the floor with him. Oh yeah, grabby hands. Um, but I'm just sitting on the floor with him, feeding him this while watching The Mandalorian. <laughs> He wants some bacon. Okay, I'm also gonna, oh, big boy. <laughs> big boy, you want some bacon? There you go. Mmm, bacon. Doesn't look like you like it very much. Hi, you can come here. Oh yeah, You're getting pretty oh, good at walking. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So he'll have some bacon. We're just having like leftovers um, for lunch today, but yeah, like I said, Riker pretty much eats whatever we eat. Yeah, don't ya? Should I cut it up for you? Yeah, I'll go share. Oh, thank you. Oh, like the bacon. Okay, I'm gonna help him kind of like cut it up and, and feed it to him now, but that is lunch. Okay, so I forgot to tell this earlier, but I had a snack. Um, I had some, I had a cup of Skinny Pop. Kaya's having Skinny Pop and a banana right now for her snack. Um, and then Riker also had a little bit of banana. And then for lunch today, I cut up some of this New York strip. I had three ounces of this New York strip, and then I dipped it in this bitchin' chipotle sauce. It is so good and super keto friendly. Um, I think I showed you guys this on my other vlog, but this has 90 calories per two tablespoons. Look at all the fat content in there, nine grams of fat, and then you're only looking at um, a 0.5 gram carb count um, with zero sugar and two grams of protein. This is bomb. Like I want to buy like 10 things of these because this is so good and the macros are superb in regards to um, like keto and low carb. All right, so now we are making dinner and dinner tonight is roasted cauliflower and I put a little bit of this avocado oil on top and a little bit of the Montreal chicken seasoning. Um, all of this can be found at Costco. We bought everything here pretty much at Costco. Um, so we're gonna roast these at 425 in the oven for a while, and then we're gonna do another side of veggies. So we're gonna do a side of asparagus um, and saute this in a little bit of avocado oil, and then also season it with this Montreal chicken. We just, this is a great seasoning for veggies as well. It says right here too, green on vegetables, pork, and chicken. And then we've got some shrimp defrosting, and I'm gonna do almost like a scampi style 
sauce with this um, shrimp. And then we're doing chicken tenderloins as well. So it's like chicken and shrimp and veggies. Um, and then on the chicken tenderloins, Mike does a little bit of avocado oil with um, Montreal chicken. This sriracha seasoning, which we also got from Costco. This is the bomb.com. Tell oh, my secrets. <laughs> Tell Mike's secrets. And then he does a little bit of this steak and chop. And the chicken is so good. And we cook it on our um, pellet grill outside. So it has like a really nice like smoky flavor to it. It is super, super good. Kaya and Riker also snacked on these bear Fuji and Red's um, organic apple chips today. And these, I tried one myself. They are super good. Mike also had these as well. All right, so just got done cooking the shrimp. I taste tested a couple of them. Um, so on the bottom here, it's just like, like this is a scampi sauce that you see on the bottom. I do not have, like normally there's like white wine, I believe, in the scampi sauce, but this just has butter and avocado oil. Holy cow, Kaya. <laughs> um, and then for seasoning, I used some nature seasons. Some of this magic salmon seasoning. It sounds crazy, but this is, it gets just really good. It gives it like a little bit of sweetness. Um, but there's not much carbs in here. There's like less than like one gram of carbs per quarter teaspoon. So I would say like for the like half a tablespoon I use, there's maybe one carb for the whole pan. And then I used a little bit of Montreal chicken as well because there's some yummy herbs in there. Um, onion powder and gar and garlic, obviously, for the garlic scampi. So there is a Mod Podge of seasoning in here, but I promise you guys that it is so good. Um, don't overdo it on the saltier seasonings because if you have salted butter, it's going to be overwhelming. I've made that mistake before. But again, I promise you that this like seasoning combo is super good. Like look at this sauce on the bottom, super yummy. So I will show you guys what my macros look like. For me, for the end of the day, after I weigh everything out, I have to weigh my shrimp out and my chicken out um, before we get going. And then the cauliflower just got done. Um, again, roasted that at 425 in the oven for, I would say, about a half hour. Okay, so I have Riker's meal semi like ready. The chicken isn't quite ready, but he's getting impatient. So he will have a half a chicken tenderloin. Um, he's got some cauliflower here and then a couple spears of asparagus. And then Kaya does not like cauliflower. She calls it white broccoli. Um, she literally gags on it every single time I try to give it to her. Do you want to try some cauliflower this time? No. Anyway, so I've got some asparagus and then just a few shrimp for her, shrimpies for her, and then she will also have about one chicken tenderloin and a little bit of ketchup. And I will show you guys what ours look like after um, our meals are plated up. Okay, so we're watching The Vampire Diaries so we're eating supper, but this is, like my plate is massive. I This is what I had put into my calculator earlier today to like calc out my macros. And I have asparagus, there's like eight spears here, a cup of um, cauliflower, I almost called it white broccoli. Um, and then I have just about seven ounces of shrimp right here. Um, and then the chicken is just about done, but I measured for three ounces. I don't even know if I'm gonna get to the chicken, you guys. The chicken is super good, so I might just take like a bite, but this is so much food. And my macros ended up being, I'll show you. Um, so I ended up my macros at 1630, 1600 calories. Um, I set it for 1500 because if I'm sedentary that day, like I don't do anything as far as a workout, this is where my um, net needs to be, the 1500 goal. Um, but I am working out this evening, so that should um, even out a little bit because I'll probably burn about 300 calories. So I'll still have quite a deficit here um, once I enter in my exercise. But um, again, there was, okay, so um, again, like my lunch was that New York strip and the Chipotle almond dip. Um, and then for breakfast, oh, I didn't show you guys my breakfast this morning, but it was like a scramble of like eggs and I did a scramble of like eggs, bacon, some onion, um, and then some pepper, included a tablespoon of butter in there, half a cup of raspberries, and then half and half. I was trying to make like a really big breakfast, so my breakfast was 700 calories. Um, my lunch was really small, it was just like a snack at like 285, and then dinner is 559. So, and then snacks today, I had some Skinny Pop, I had two cups of Skinny Pop, um, and then my nutrition for the day ended up at, 
Okay, so my protein was at 126. My carbs were at, I think my net carbohydrates is at 26 grams. Um, you do the carbs minus fiber, about 26 grams. My sugar was only at 14. My fat was at 104. And yeah, everything actually looks pretty decent. Um, sodium and cholesterol were over. I try to watch these a little bit more, but when you're keto or doing like a higher fat content, the cholesterol can be hard to watch. But I mostly just focus on protein, carbs, fiber, sugar, and fat up here, and then my um, calories as well. It's 7.42 and I'm just taking one scoop of this. It is a pre-workout and it has like one gram of carbs right there. Okay, so for breakfast today, Riker is having eggs, some cut up sausage, and some raspberries. We get our sausage from Costco. This is about two eggs worth, and he will eat all of it, won't you? Okay, and this is Kaya's breakfast. She's having the same thing as Riker. Um, it's about two eggs, I would say two and a half-ish, closer for her. Um, raspberries and then two sausage links. Again, sausage links are from Costco and I'm using up the rest of our paper plates from like Christmas time and Thanksgiving um, just to get them out of the house and so that I don't have to do dishes this morning. <laughs> On. Yeah, I'm strapped in, stuck in a song. You can't turn off. So I was out shopping with the kids, and this is what I got. I got a venti americano with sugar-free vanilla and heavy cream. All right, a baby just woke up, but this is what I'm having for lunch today. I'm having three ounces of New York Strip again, and then I will have about a tablespoon or two of this bitchin' sauce, and this all together is about 250 calories and like, like half a carb. Um, for those of you wondering, yes, I do have a food scale. This is what I use to weigh all of my food out. All right, so far today I have had um, 47 for protein, um, a net of 15 carbs, 7 grams of sugar, all from my raspberries this morning so that it was like a naturally derived sugar source. Um, my fat is at 76, sat fat is at 23. Like everything is looking really good here. Now if I go to my actual diary, um, I have 489 calories remaining. So I've already entered in my lunch. My breakfast was really big. It was 740 calories. Um, I just wanted to mention really quickly too that during, like on the weekends, I have big breakfasts. Um, but then I have a really small lunch. Like right here, I have like 285 calories. Um, but during the week, like Tuesday through Thursday, Tuesday through Friday when I am working, I will skip breakfast almost entirely and I'll just have a coffee with um, heavy cream. And then for lunch, it will be fairly big. So about like, I would say like 800 calories for lunch. Um, I try to pack my meals between like noon and six or seven. I give myself like a six or seven hour eating window. It's actually easier for me to have a bigger breakfast and then I go a little bit lighter on the lunch. Alrighty, Rue, this is Kaya's lunch. So she just has some mandarin orange. Um, she's got some diced chicken. And then this is just like a cheese quesadilla thing. And this is what she will have. And Riker will likely have the exact same once he wakes up from his nap. All right, it is three o'clock and I'm having a little snack. I had one cup of Skinny Pop, which is equivalent to like 39 calories and like a few carbs. All right, for dinner, I'm sitting here and I'm working um, from home and doing some stuff here, but I've got, um, I had, I should say, five ounces of pork chops, a cup of broccoli or maybe even like two cups of broccoli. Um, and then I have been, and then I have been eating this um, bitchin' sauce for like every single meal, it's so good. Um, I dip both my broccoli and my pork chops in there. But that is gonna wrap it up for me for the day. Um, I might have like a little bit of a snack after I work out and I will show you guys what that looks like and then um, like all of the macros for the day for me. And then Riker and Mike and Kaya pretty much had the exact same things as I did. Yep, that's water. 
water. Yep, you can have some water. And then um, Kaya had some ketchup water, with hers as well. Water. We've done a really, really bad job of showing you guys what I'm eating today, but I had the same breakfast as yesterday. Um, and then I just had a lunch, and my lunch was this chicken, um, grilled chicken and broccoli Alfredo bowl. There is 190 calories and four net carbs. And then I topped off that chicken broccoli Alfredo with some sriracha seasoning. Um, I got this at Costco and there is one gram of carbs in it, but it's so worth it, it's super good. And then in a little bit, I'm gonna, and then in a little bit, I'm gonna have some sriracha chicken broth, which I'll show you guys how to make that in a minute. The kids this morning, this is like leftover still, but the kids this morning had um, eggs and bacon and bananas and um, this was Riker's all cut up. Kaya for lunch had a um, broccoli cheddar bowl um, of soup and a yasso, uh, yasso, whatever bar. All right, I am making my chicken broth right now. I just heated up two cups of um, water in the microwave and I'm going to add two teaspoons, Let's see if I can do it with one hand two teaspoons of this um, Better Than Bolion um, chicken broth base. It's really, really good. And it has, um, let's see, two grams of carbs per teaspoon. So there's going to be four grams of carbs in here, which is a little higher than I thought. But anyways, um, it will be, let's see, one teaspoon. So 30 calories and four grams of carbs. And then what I will do is also add a teaspoon of the sriracha seasoning in there and it's like a really spicy chicken broth and it's super yummy. Ooh, fogging up the lens a little bit. Um, this is my chicken broth, my spicy chicken broth that I am having for my midday like snack. And because I was having something, Kaya wanted something, so she gets hot chocolate. And Riker, I forgot to show, but Riker just had um, a half a banana as well. Yes, you, and he has had all of his milk today, like up through um, three o'clock. I'd say he's probably had like four bottles worth, and he loves to get into this cupboard. No, no puppy. All right, dinner this evening is a chicken thigh with asparagus and mushroom that was roasted in the oven with avocado oil and then Montreal chicken seasoning on top of the chicken thighs. I think Mike did Montreal chicken and some of that sriracha seasoning. And of course, I'm having some of this bitchin' sauce with my chicken, you guys. I have a real problem with this, it's so good. Okay guys, this is what I had for dinner today, but I actually, I had just the patty. Um, and mine was a double patty. There were six ounces of beef and then um, like one slice of American cheese per patty. This is Kaya's like leftover burger that she barely touched. She mostly just ate chips. Um, and then I dipped my patties into this beer cheese. I know like super greasy and gross, but all I had for breakfast today was um, my protein shake, my Herbalife protein shake. All I had for breakfast today was a protein shake from my protein shake shop. That and then um, I had like a zero calorie tea and then at lunchtime I had one of those um, broccoli alfredo bowls again um, and then that was really good but all in all I had only had like 240 calories for the day so I loaded up on some beef which was super yummy just got done smashing a workout as well and I hit 280 calories burned so workout done meals are done for the day and now, I, now I'm going to have a glass of Apothic Red, just like a little couple sips, <laughs> because it is eight o'clock, I just got done working out, and I still need to finish work, and I still need to upload a video for you guys for the morning, so it is going to be a long night, and this is well overdue. Oh, hey, look, it's me. Cheers. <laughs> so today was a weird day, you guys. I only had... 1200 ish calories and I haven't even added my exercise in yet for the day gotta add that in cardio I usually just go to like because I know exactly how many calories I burned so I'll go on here and just like I don't really mess with the minutes I just put in how many calories I burned which is 280 I don't mess with like the time like I said I put that in so technically I've got like 500 calories remaining um, but I'm gonna be done eating for the night I'm not hungry so um, just gonna have my glass of wine. But right here, as you guys can see, whoops, 
or not. Um, as you guys can see, so 43 minutes five. So I had like 38 grams of carbs today. Um, it was a little bit higher because of my wine, and then I had some of Kaya's like chips or whatever. Um, but I'm still underneath that. Um, I'm still under that 50 net carbs. Technically broke my keto going whateverness because I had some chips, but still hit my macros that I want to hit. So I'm happy with that. Only hit seven grams of sugar. So, anyways, that was today. And then yesterday, I'm not sure if I showed you guys yesterday's. Um, yesterday I had, let's see, 1469 for calories. And I did the same workout as I did tonight. And, um, my protein, everything was good. My carbs, it was more so in like the 20-ish range. Like, yeah, like the 20-ish range for carbs. Sugar was a couple grams more, not too, too much. Um, I didn't hit my fat very well, but protein, it was way over. Um, but everything is looking pretty good, and I will have a um, weight update for you guys in my next video. All right, let's talk workouts. Um... So I work out every single day. I do follow the Kayla It Signs app, which is the sweat app. Um, I've showed you guys this in other videos, but this is what it looks like. Um, let's see if I can get to focus. This is what it looks like, and there's a planner on here, and it tells me what my workouts are for the day. Um, now, there is a lower body and a full body that will like preload along with low intensity cardio. Um, and then you can fill in like abs and arms on like other days. So today, for example, is Saturday um, and I have low intensity cardio. Now, these other blank days over here, I've actually chosen to do low intensity cardio on these days as well. I'll just do like two and a half miles on my elliptical. We burn about 300 calories and it's like 20 minute, like like a, just like a nice like nine to 10 minute mile, like just something really like low and like, I don't know, it's just, it's really nice. Um, so like I was mentioning, my, so my cardio that I do, I will go on my elliptical, I put my resistance all the way, like I'll put it up to like seven or eight, um, and then I'll just go at it, and that gives me, it gives my legs a nice good workout, I can really feel it afterwards. Um, like I said, I burn about 300 calories in about 15, 20 minutes. Depending on how fast I'm going, I'll do like two and a half to three miles, like it's not, on the elliptical, I don't go that fast. I more so focus on like that resistance and really like pushing my muscles because my problem areas are more, more so like my love handles and then like my lower back area, like that back fat region for like after I, after I was pregnant with baby, like I would gain weight in the front, but my body all, always naturally gained like this like back fat pocket as well to like balance me out, I feel. But I, when I'm working out, that's what I like to do is like kick the resistance up. So I'm really working my lower body um, on the elliptical. So that is one of my favorite things to do in the garage. Um, we're working on getting a, a nicer setup so I can show you guys. But I have an elliptical. I do have a treadmill as well, but we're probably going to be bringing that to storage because I don't use it. Um, but we're trying to get like these like rubber floor mats down because now I've got weights and these resistance bands and I wanna get some mirrors on the wall and put my Google Home in there. Um, but right now I have my elliptical and then like right across from my elliptical I have like a little on the wall because my elliptical faces the wall in the garage. We have a fully heated shop. Um, so I have this like little like wood like piece on the wall that's nailed in or like screwed in. And then I will take my phone and I will like lean it or like I will set it on that ledge that wood ledge that I have on the wall and then I can watch like my favorite my go-to's during cardio is like Sex in the City, um, Will and Grace, Friends, Vampire Diaries has been my favorite as of late um, and then I think I'm gonna start the originals I haven't started the originals yet but that is like mama's time my workouts are my mom time and I forgot how much I missed having like a little bit of time to myself and being able to blow off some steam, it does wonders for me. Um, and then on the off nights that I'm not doing cardio, like I said, I'm either doing lower body, full body, arms, or abs with the um, Beach Body Guide through Kayla It Signs Sweat app. So I hope that gives you guys a better insight as to 
what I do for my workouts in addition to my um, diet. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this What I Eat in a Day. I have more videos like this coming at you very, very soon. Stay tuned for a microblading part two video coming out live later on today. Yes, today I'm recording this early Saturday morning. The microblading video should be live by 5 p.m. this evening for a part two, and that's like the healing process and all those fun things. Now, I took to Instagram yesterday and I asked you guys if you'd rather see a cook, cook and clean with me tomorrow or if you'd rather see a day in the life, and it was split right down the middle. So. I'm gonna make you guys a deal. I will do a cook and clean with me tomorrow and a day in the life on Monday and Tuesday, showing you guys like my weekend day in the life and then showing you guys like a work day, day in the life. All right, I will see you guys tomorrow for that cook and clean with me. Okay, bye guys.